Hello, Bulldogs. My name is Kyle Larson. And Theodore Schaefer. Welcome to The Bark. The Bulldog Bark. Your weekly source of information and events at RCHS. Have you heard of the French Club? Oui, oui. C has a story for you, monsieur. You may have spotted a new mural of the Eiffel Tower in the first bottom hallway. That's because French Club has been working on it for the past year. But what is French Club? Let's find out. Well, I decided that it would be great to have a club here in Roy City where any student who's currently enrolled in French or has taken French or even is thinking about taking French could come together and learn about France and all the different countries that do speak French and just participate in uh, the study of French. We talk about mainly how like different, there's like different companies and stuff in French. We recently just had a party and uh, just the way things are in France that are a little bit different. I asked the members what they liked most about being in French club. Um, honestly, I think I like the fact that we get to learn about a lot of different cultural aspects and things like that that we wouldn't normally learn about in French class. So that's really cool. Um, the, uh, the language, really. I mean, it's I get to celebrate what I came in there to embrace as a French language. French Club is a way to learn about the French culture and language, and it's been real, really enjoyable because Mr. McKee is such a great teacher, and uh, he really loves teaching French. The members of French Club told me about why they chose to join. Uh, being in French and uh, just a passion to learn more about what France is and the culture. Um, honestly, I think I like the fact that we get to learn about a lot of different cultural aspects and things like that that we wouldn't normally learn about in French class, so that's really cool. I asked the members about the sort of things that they've been doing in French club. Um, we've been doing a lot of, of French art, so paintings and murals. Well, our most recent activity we had was a party for the fall, and we all brought food and drinks and just had a good time and hung out in my room. The members told me about their work on the mural. Well, uh, the most recent project we did was we did a mural in the hallway where uh, each student got a small square that they could draw or paint or, or use markers with. And then once we combined it together, it formed a big mural of the Eiffel Tower. And it's currently hanging up in the hallway outside my room. If you haven't seen it, come check it out. We've been working on it since the beginning of the year. Um, it's taken many months to get everything coordinated. <laughs> If you're interested, be sure to come to Mr. Mickey's room in A Block of Power Hour on Monday. I hope to see you there. Ciao. Dude, that new episode of Hawkeye went crazy. Really? What is it about? Let me show you. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. You're Hawkeye! Who the hell are you? Some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Are you one of those people? Marvel Studios' Hawkeye is the fifth Disney Plus show to premiere on Disney Plus for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The show stars Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye, who is trying to get back to his family on time for Christmas. However, young teenage prodigy Kate Bishop drags him into a drama with the tracksuit mafia, which convinces Clint Barton to stay around in New York City to figure out who really is behind all the crime in New York City. The show manages to really expand our understanding of the Hawkeye character. After the events of Avengers Endgame and the rest of the MCU, Hawkeye is tired and is ready to retire and give the torch and the bow to Kate Bishop, the newest Avenger he will be mentoring throughout the show. In the first episode, they do an amazing job with a charisma and charismatic charm, which allows us to truly believe these two are partners and should be an enjoyable watch throughout the rest of the series. You can definitely feel the show's slow pace in the first episode. However, this can definitely be worked into its favor. Because of the show laying all the groundwork and necessary world building in the first episode, the show can take advantage of the extra time to tackle more interesting storylines, such as Clint Barton's trauma after being an Avenger so long, Kate Bishop's aspiration to be the new Hawkeye, and many more interesting plot points. Overall, Hawkeye is a welcome addition to the MCU. Haley Steinfeld and Jeremy Renner's chemistry on screen shines through, and I cannot wait to see the future of the series. This is too dangerous. Definitely not this one. You don't have to say definitely like that. Some crazy.
Christmas. The first episode of Hawkeye gets an 8 out of 10 on the scale. This is Brian Martinez signing off. That totally went crazy. Alright, but have you heard about Jacob's tech tip? It goes hard. What's up, Bulldogs? Ever wanted to add emojis whenever you're trying to type on your Chromebook? If so, then here's how you can do that. So, what you want to do is that you want to go up here, then you want to press the shift key, magnifying glass key, and space bar all at the same time, then emoji selection window should show up. Then you just choose whichever emoji you want, and then you can just drag over it, and then copy and paste it with control C, and then control C. And there you go. Hope this helps you out somehow. Sorry for the basketball team? No, but here's Noah with the sports story. Hi, this is Noah LaRosa with the Wheeling Sports Update. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving break. I know our basketball teams did. Let's start with our boys. On Friday before break officially started, we faced Longview at home and absolutely dominated, winning 76-54. And last week again, played at home against Wiley East. As per usual, we won by a country mile, 63-47. Next, we have our girls. They had another tournament during break and went into this one with an incredible momentum and confidence, coming off a tournament win earlier this year. And with that momentum, swung quick and fast, taking down Wiley East, Petit, Peaster, and Bell High School to meet Koppel High School for the second consecutive tournament final. Unfortunately, our girls lost with a score of 44-64 to in a crushing defeat in the final. Their latest game was also against Rockwell last Tuesday, where we again unfortunately lost a close and competitive game, 43-46. to However, even though the latest results were a bit saddening, it doesn't take away from our girls' incredible start to the season with an 11-2 record and two tournament final appearances. Great job, girls. That's all for this week, Bulldogs. This is Norwell Rosa signing out. Thank you for watching the Bulldog Bart. This has been Kyle and Theodore signing, signing out. out.